Last week, we read the dramatic Akedah story, and we heard God's promise to Abraham, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heavens. In our parsha this week, Chaye Sarah, Abraham just lost his wife, Sarah, and now he must take charge to fulfill this promise. He must find a wife for Isaac. Not wanting Isaac to wed from among the daughters of the Canaanites, he asked his trusted servant to go to his family in Aram Naraim to choose a bride. Why is Abraham sending his servant and not Isaac himself? What can we learn about Isaac and Rebekah from the biblical description of their meeting? How is the description of this meeting significant for continuing Abraham's mission. Avner Moria, portrayal for Chaye Sarah, offers an interesting visual artistic interpretation to all these queries. In the picture, we see two camels against a background of green and light and dark blue barren mountains that shed a purple shadow under the late afternoon sun. The small figure of Isaac with a staff in his hand is seen in the far distance, standing in front of Sarah's tent. Isaac himself seems to be a self-effacing figure, a sort of pa a passive bridge between his father Abraham and his son Jacob, a puzzling and not clearly defined personality. We are told that Isaac came from the way of Be'er Lachai Roi, for he dwelt in the land of the south. The hills in the picture resemble the hills of Edom in the south. Describing the meaning, the text notes that Isaac went out walking in the field towards evening, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, there was there were camels coming. He sees the camels, but perhaps does not realize that one of them carries Rebecca. She, on the other hand, having left her family and her home, in a very, is very anxious to meet her future husband. Seeing the distant figure seems to be to her seems to her to be a sign of welcome, and she alighted from the camel. As excited as ang and anxious as Rebecca, her two maids are standing rather than sitting on the back of a second camel to get a better look at the distant figure. Standing near the camel and next to the servant, perhaps even touching his arm, Rebecca asks, Who is that man walking in the field towards us? And the servant answers, That is my master. She knows then that she has arrived in Canaan. As the servant told her family that Abraham determined that Isaac should, not, should never be taken outside of the land of Canaan, which is why she had to be brought to him. Rebecca, the servants, the maids, and the camels all cast shadows on the ground in front of them, which creates a realistic picture of the time of day towards evening. But the figure of Isaac in the distance has no shadow. Knowing that Isaac is meditating in the field and seeing him in the distance without a shadow suggests that he is somewhat disconnected from their reality. What the artist has visualized here is Rebecca staging her own Lech Lecha, get thee out of thy country journey in order to continue Abraham's divine task and mission. In her active engagement, Rebecca stands in contrast to a passive contemplative Isaac who takes notice of her and brings her to his mother's tent only after the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. Even so, it is clear that in his own way, Isaac understands his destined role in the furtherance of his father's mission. The conclusion of the Parsha notes three successive steps regarding the meeting between Isaac and Rebekah. He brings her to his mother's tent 
and marries her. He loves her. And only then he is, confront, he is comforted in the loss of his mother. Shavuot Tov from Shekhtar.